Enjoy watching. Pictured on $10 and $100 bills, Alexander Hamilton and Benjamin Franklin were never presidents of the United States. The oldest soup discovered dates back to 600 BC, the main ingredient of this soup is hippopotamus meat. Gerbil mice can smell adrenaline, which is why they are kept by airport security to spot and save people. A story related to the wedding got into the Guinness Book. The biggest difference in age and marriage was a couple from Malaysia. The wife is 22 years old and the husband is 105 years old. The color blue has a calming effect. When a person sees the color blue, his brain produces calming hormones. Ancient Egyptians slept on stone pillows. The Goliath tarantula is the largest spider in the world. It is able to hunt frogs, toads, lizards, mice, and even small snakes. Men's shirts have buttons on the right, women's on the left. Mendeleev had a C grade at school. Until 1850, for one or two millennia, the temperature remained relatively stable, but at the beginning of the 20th century, the average air temperature increased by 0.74 degrees Celsius. Chewing gum contains rubber. Your left lung is smaller than your right because it shares space with your heart. The oldest ocean is the Pacific Ocean, about 200 million years old. Most of the water is in the sun there is water in the form of steam. The owl is the only bird that uses the upper eyelid to blink, all other birds use the lower eyelid. The Romans had public toilets, which were long marble benches with holes in the toilet paper, so there was no stick with a sponge on the end, but these sticks were common. If you are not thirsty, you urgently need to drink water when the human body is dehydrated, the mechanism responsible for thirst is turned off. In the old days, kalachi was baked with a handle resembling a bagel, it was customary to eat kalak by holding the handle, and after eating the handle, throw it away or give it to the poor, hence the expression went to reach the handle. Before the introduction of the Tugrik in 195, the national currency of Mongolia was the dollar. Air travel is truly amazing, because of it, it's easier than ever before to see the world and all its incredible cultures, but just because you're on a plane doesn't mean there aren't rules, and if you break them, there can be dire consequences. So, from turning off airplane mode to climbing into the overhead compartments, get ready for some things you should absolutely never do on an airplane. Enjoy watching. Let's go! Filthy flights. I think we can all agree that littering is bad, but people who leave their litter festering on planes? Well, they're the worst. Flight attendants are often only paid for their time in the air. So, if there's any trash left on the plane after landing, they have the disgusting task of cleaning it without even getting any money. And I really do mean disgusting. As well as old food, one attendant reported finding, brace yourself, countless dirty diapers and soiled underwear stuffed into the seat pockets. Oh man, diapers are bad enough, but actual adults' underwear? Come on, and it gets even worse. Other attendants have found used catheters, toilet paper, and even bottles of pee. How did they even, actually, I don't want to know. Just please, for the sanity of the poor people charged with cleaning up this mess, don't leave trash on the planes. And never, ever put your food in the seat pockets, you have no idea what horrors have been in there before. Peculiar passengers. Now, don't get me wrong, I love pets but I wouldn't want to take one on a plane with me, even so, some airlines allow all sorts of animals on board as long as they're well behaved. Others only allow service animals like guide dogs, but to get around this, people begin bringing their non-service pets on board and claiming they were service animals so that the critters could travel for free. You're talking guide horses, peacocks, and even pigs, and these so-called service animals would often run amok, pooping everywhere, being noisy, and generally causing chaos. Jeez. Because of this, a new law was passed banning all service animals other than dogs from flying, but some people argue this is unfair on those who genuinely rely on them. Regardless, there are far worse things you can bring onto a plane than a peacock. Yep. Back in 2012, a man caught a wild Egyptian cobra and shoved it in his hand luggage to bring back to his reptile shop in Kuwait. Somehow, he managed to get it onto the plane, but once he was seated, controlling the restless reptile proved difficult. Egyptian cobras are very aggressive and super venomous, and after a short struggle, 
It bit him and escaped into the cabin. It was pandemonium. From what I can tell, the man survived despite his stupidity, but in the ensuing panic, the plane had to make an emergency landing so the snake could be dealt with. And there I was thinking snakes on a plane was silly. A few years later, in 2016, something arguably even more terrifying happened. One passenger on a flight to Montreal was relaxing on her iPad when she suddenly felt a tickle on her leg. Looking down, she realized with a pang. It was a great big tarantula, she smacked it away from her, but it wasn't the only one. Somebody had brought two of the spiders on board to bring home as pets. So the rest of the flight, passengers were forced to stand on their seats to avoid the creepy crawlies. Am I the only one getting itchy? The forbidden orders. I don't know about you, but every time I'm on a plane, it takes about five minutes for my mouth to feel as dry as the Sahara Desert. But when that all important refreshment trolley comes round, think twice before you make your order. More specifically, don't choose tea or coffee. Water tanks on planes are often old and full of bacteria. And tea, coffee, and even ice will probably utilize them, meaning your tea could come with a side of illness. Gross. Sticking to bottled drinks is much less risky, despite the extortionate prices. If you're old enough to drink alcohol though, there's even more to watch out for. When you're 12,000 feet high in the air, there's far less oxygen than there is on the ground, the pressurized cabin ensures you can breathe, but you're still more likely to feel lightheaded and nauseous. If you combine that with a good slosh of booze, it can get out of hand fast. In June 2021, a passenger got so drunk, he tried to bite a member of the cabin crew and had to be locked inside the airplane washroom. What? I mean, I get a little peckish after a few beers, but a kebab usually does the trick. Regardless, the man was sentenced to 20 months in jail for both the assault and his intoxicated state. Because even if he hadn't bit anyone, he still would have been breaking the law. It's a criminal offense to be drunk on a plane. Enjoy watching. Shocking facts about dreams. Everyone sees dreams, even those who think they can't see. Exceptions are people with severe mental disorders. Scientists conducting research on dreams came to a very interesting conclusion. They found that only smart people remember dreams. This conclusion was made after a study of more than 2,000 people. The majority of people surveyed say they do not see or remember dreams. 90% of dreams are forgotten. Within 5 minutes after waking up, 50 of sleep is forgotten. Within 10 minutes 90% perhaps sometimes this causes uncertainty. Wow! It seems that the process of fixing events in memory during sleep is disabled. For those who claim that they do not dream, this blockage is more complete than for others. According to Plato, dreams originate in the organs located in the abdomen. He believed that the liver is the biological source of most dreams. People who grew up on black and white television see mostly black and white dreams. Most of us dream every 90 minutes, and the longest dreams 30 minus 45 minutes happen in the morning. Dreams can be controlled with proper practice. You can arrange dream series for yourself. Return to the place where the dream was interrupted last night. Wow! Nightmares are normal. They are seen by all people in all cultures. Most of the nightmares we see in childhood, their number decreases with age. The feeling of falling in a dream usually happens at the beginning of the night, in the first stage of sleep. Even the faint light from digital clock numbers can make you sleepy. The fact is that the light turns off the nerve switch that is responsible for falling asleep. Because of this, the level of the sleep hormone drops sharply in a few minutes. The pre-sleep stage is similar to meditation as the body prepares for sleep. It relaxes. This applies not only to all processes occurring inside it, but also to the brain. You cannot snore and dream at the same time. People only snore during non-REM sleep. During this phase they do not dream. And a little about the dangers of snoring. Ten of those who snore suffer from choking in their sleep. These people stop breathing up to 300 times a night, which dramatically increases the risk of heart disease. Most often, dreams show negative rather than positive emotions. The most popular emotional state in dreams is anxiety. Rarely remember dreams or do not remember at all people who tend not to notice or ignore what may cause them anxiety. 
Although the problem if any is not solved by this, in a dream, many discoveries were made and great things were invented. Mendeleev in a dream saw a table of chemical elements, Paul McCartney the song yesterday. Animals also dream. From an evolutionary point of view, the dreaming stage of REM sleep is the last stage of development that can be found in the human body, as well as in other warm-blooded mammals and birds. Flights in a dream most often try to explain this to us as the reasons for physical growth. If you fly, then you grow. But is it? Ethologists have come to the conclusion that the flights that we make in a dream are connected with the fact that the most ancient genetic program is manifested, which is recorded in the memory of a person. Flights in a dream have been known since ancient times, when no one suspected that an airplane would ever be invented, flying in a dream can express both our hopes and life's fears. Children under the age of three are not able to see themselves in a dream. The biological clock does not reset. Our biological clock is always accurate. One sleep-wake cycle lasts 24 minus 25 hours. Dreams prevent psychosis. Sleep is a rehearsal scientists are increasingly leaning toward the idea at the biological significance of sleep is to ensure the survival of the species, be it rat or human. In dreams, we train ourselves to avoid danger. It seems that this is what dreams with threatening content are for. For example, swimming across a river or running away from a dangerous animal. But thanks to a special state in sleep, in which our muscles are almost immobilized, all this rehearsal takes place at the level of the brain. Thus, we learn ways to save our lives in a dream so that someday we can use them in real life. Please like, share, subscribe.